everyone. Um, welcome back to our podcast series. Um, today we have a special guest with us who is gonna to share um some information about her experiences studying in a Wellington high school, as well as some useful tips and tricks for studying in New Zealand. Um, uh, crosses. Hello, and is it is it so nice to meet you today? Hello, nice to meet you all. Do you mind just briefly introduce yourself to oh, our sure. audience? Yeah. Um, my name is Aang. I graduated from Wellington Girls College last year, and I think I've been living in Wellington for four years. And I'm going to move to Auckland soon, so just about less than a month. So I'm really excited for it. Oh, <laughs> and next year needs for uni. Yeah. Ah, you're gonna study at um um Auckland Uni. Yeah, that's right. I see. So yeah, for today we will have like three topics that I will be asking you. The first topic is about the high school experiences. Like, may mm -hmm. I ask you about like when did you come to New Zealand and for how long have you studied at Wellington Girls High? Girls High uh, School. Oh, it was Wellington Girls College. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, um, I've been here since, um, I think it was like July 2017. Mm -hmm. So it's been like, I like, mean, uh, four and a half year. Okay. Yeah, and I studied at Wellington Girls for four years. So from year nine to year 12. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, like from those overseas student perspective, how did you feel about the overall high school experiences? I think it was pretty good actually. If um talking about like the students here, they are really open and friendly. Like they like to learn and understand more about like the international, like the different culture and heritage. Mm -hmm. And for the teachers, I think that they are really helpful and they are really supportive as well. Like you don't feel like ashamed or shy when you want to ask questions. Uh -huh. So I think it's a pretty safe and fun environment. Also like my school is a girl's school. Uh -huh. So we do focus a lot of about like women's right and women empowerment. So I think attending Wellington Girls College would have, was a pretty good experience for me. Yeah. Okay. So, um, compared to your home country, were there like any noticeable differences, like such as the workload or um, the school environment or just normal environment? Uh, I think it's a huge difference. So, I come from Vietnam, uh -huh. is a Southeast Asian country, uh -huh. and talking about the workload is a huge difference because in Vietnam we we focus a lot of about like academic study. So we like like sit on the desk on the table for like 24, seven hours. I mean, we study a lot, but compared to in here, they focus a lot more about like physical education. Mm -hmm. So they want to like get us be to become like more active. So mm -hmm. like to balance out the well-being, the mental well-being as well as the physical and our academic performance. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you say for the workload for like, you know how you have NCA in year, in year 11, 12, 13, but not year nine and 10. Yeah, yeah the workload for year nine and 10 is really relaxing because mm -hmm. we don't have exams for NCA. Oh, that's good. So yeah, it's just, it's just like having fun going to school every day. Of course you do have like assignments mm -hmm. and you do have like scores, you do have like, um, assignment results but it's not a big deal yeah because universities won't look at it and yeah. but when yeah that's right but when it comes to NTA mm -hmm. I think though that many people say that mm -hmm. coming to high schools in like New Zealand is easy mm -hmm. I think it's easy so for the NTA system we have uh the um what is it called? It's a marking ranking. So it's achieved to merit to excellence. Yeah. What is, I think what they talk about is like, it's really easy to get the achieve here. I see. So it's like achieve the standard, but to get the standard excellence, mm -hmm. I think 
it's way more hard than that you need to put like in a lot of effort into it mm -hmm. and I feel like the workload here it's like a two scissors plate be uh, because uh, a two ended plates because it's like the teacher here they don't push you to do like work all day mm -hmm. it's up to you you have to be like you have to be you have to manage your own time and your own study Mm -hmm. so if you don't manage it well at the end of the year you will definitely screw yeah so it's really up to you the workload can be really really huge if you don't know how to manage your time well but if you do know how to manage your time like efficiently then it will be all right yeah but compared to Vietnam it's definitely I think the workload is def is a bit like less than what I had in, like in my home country mm -hmm. but If I say that is little, then that's that's not true. It's still definitely a lot. Yeah, do. just like other students got more freedoms. You just choose what you wanted to do, and then yeah, um, yeah, you will get the final outcome. Um, uh, um, I think so. <laughs> that's what, right. How, how much yeah. effort you put on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you find and do you find it easy to make friends like during your high school life? I think, yeah, it was easy because as I mentioned in my school, people here, they are really like friendly and they like to know about like different, like people coming from different countries and all of that stuff. But also, um, it also depends on like our personality. Like, I think I'm kind of like easygoing person who is like, yeah, I make friends easily. So it was good for me to make both international friends and Kiwi friends. Yeah, so it was pretty good at school for me, yeah. Ah, so we move on to topic two. It's about the resources for those international students within high schools. Because I didn't study high school in New Zealand, so I'm just curious. Oh. Does, like, uh, Wellington Girls College have any, like, clubs for international students to join? Oh, yeah, we have, like, one club that is dedicated to international students so it's yeah it's literally called international student clubs oh, and <laughs> yeah yeah and in there what they do is that they try to host activities uh -huh. for international students both international and domestic students to join and they host activities such as like um i don't know like learning k-pop bands together and uh -huh. or like trying out cultural food and having like quizzes about different countries like travel quizzes yeah ah. but yeah but we have we have a lot of clubs in my school but yeah every single students and both the, international and domestic yeah, students are welcome to join so yeah a lot of clubs to experience uh, uh, is that is that the club you mentioned called like Uh, simply called WISA, like Wellington International Student Association. Oh, the club that I mentioned, the international club, is a club, it's a small club for like Wellington girl students only. Uh -huh. But WISA is a lot bigger than that because WISA, so I am the, what is called, cool, uh, vice president. Mm -hmm. for WISA mm -hmm. and it's Wellington International Student Association so what we do is that we connect like international students from like all the high school mm -hmm. from all high school around Wellington together so it's huge it's more yeah it's, it's really big and what we try to do is that yeah as I say to connect international students from Wellington so there's about like I don't know 15 to 20 high school around Wellington and out of Wellington yeah and what we try to do each year is that we try to plan a lot of like fun activities and events and invite students international students like around the regions to come to join mm -hmm. as we know that many international students they struggle to like make friends in their own community okay. so it's really good yeah to have a club that organizes events uh, and bring all the students together Yeah. yeah, get them connected. And and do you have like any advice for international students who are um um just beginning high school or are gonna to start their high school? And, uh, and so like tips? Advice? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think 
since starting high school you don't have like exams or a lot of stress i think just try like for example at my school we are allowed to like choose subjects Mm-hmm. Oh. So we have a range of subjects that we can choose. For example, like dance or art, I or see. even like design, yeah, or like digital stuff or all of that. So I think the best thing to do is that to make, like, to make a lot of friends. Mm-hmm. Just like to be open, try to join many clubs, and also try to like pick up the subjects that you are like interested in. You want to like find out about the most, mm-hmm. and. Though that like study is not as important, but just try to get the most out of what education gives you because what you learn in year nine and ten is also kind of fundamental mm-hmm. for what you will learn in the next few years. I see. Yeah, yeah, it's quite important for like those last few years in the high school. So yeah. we move on to our topic three, like about the study trip. Um, I heard like you are interested in demonstrating good methods of studying, like yeah. from someone else. <laughs> Can you give us like, a <laughs> few tips up on how you keep up with class works? Uh, I think the most, the very, the very like four most important thing that you need to have good time management. Oh yeah, that's sweet. yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, I find that many people, including like my friends, they don't really have good time management. <laughs> yeah, it's so difficult to manage your time. Like sometimes, you know, some international, even domestic students, they have their own part-time yeah. job or like some activity yeah. at the class. Or sometimes people just literally just procrastinate. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Lots of students are like yeah, that. I've been there. I think all of us have been there. I think the good thing, I think how to have good time management Mm -hmm. like maybe you have to have plan just jot down just write down the plan Mm -hmm. and make it details like as much as possible Mm -hmm. because i found that like the more detailed your plans are the higher like chances that you are going to do what you want to do Yeah, just pick yeah, so the most just, important thing. Like write down something like schedule, yeah, timetable, <laughs> like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I feel like a second tip is that I think for me, it's like you meet not, we can't do two things at once mm-hmm. because, yeah. yeah. So just work hard and play hard. For example, <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, love just that. Just so like. <laughs> Yeah, when you go to school, just mm-hmm. when the teacher is teaching you, is giving like lectures, yeah. just try to focus and not go on your phone <laughs> because <laughs> what you're trying to do here is, is listening to the teacher mm-hmm. and looking on social media at the same time and you won't mm-hmm. give out like the best result. Yeah, true. When you do that at the same time. Yeah, so try to work hard just before you pick up your phone, just think like, why am I going to do this? Like, yeah. will I, like, yeah, because it's it's about if you don't like listen to the teachers well in class, you will have to go over everything again after class and it'll be yeah. more time for you. Yeah. But if you work hard in class, you understand what the teacher says and you ask questions at the end mm-hmm. of the day, yeah, you will save a lot more time. The information just progress and then. What I say, why did I say work hard, play hard? Because I feel like if we study hard, we deserve to have what we want. <laughs> yeah, like that, for example, because I, people like my friends do say that I'm so studious. Why do I study all day? I mean, they don't know me because I study hard, but I also like when it comes to like having fun, yeah. I think... <laughs> It's kind of bad, but I also spend like a lot of money <laughs> on yeah, like true. stationery <laughs> and makeup and clothes and all that as well because I feel like I deserve it after like working so hard and receiving good results. Yeah, yeah, I get you because I'm also the same. I know like how those makeups cost and cost. <laughs> <Show stuff. laughs> so yeah, um, like in the New Zealand high school, um, those students have to take. The exam called NCEA exams. Do you yeah. have any tips for studying uh, the NCEA exams? Uh, as I mentioned, also like 
time management don't mean uh, anything at the last minute because the uh, NCA exam content as you get like as a level rank higher from level mm-hmm. one level two level three mm-hmm. the content just build up there's just so much to learn for example I feel like the physics exam at the end of the year you've got three standard and all the three standards here there's so much to learn about learn mm-hmm. um it's like you have to manage your time well just learn throughout the year not like around not at the like three days before yeah, the exams just like, try to manage to, your time well yeah just build yeah. up the strong and, foundation for studying yeah that's right that's right and mm-hmm. also like ask if you have questions like ask straight away don't be like um i'm gonna ask later because i don't want to ask just ask if you have any question, ask the teacher, ask your friend if you have any question about the topic, because if you are not sure about it, then you won't be sure about the, you won't be certain either about the next topic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And also, yeah, oh. I have one more tip for the NCA, yeah, yeah. Just which us. is that, yeah, just practice a lot of um, past papers, because you know, on the NCA, on the NZQA website, they put out they put up a lot of past papers like from 2013 mm-hmm. to up to like 2021. So there are so many papers for each standards to practice mm-hmm. and practice makes like progress. Practice yeah. makes perfect. So just practice a lot, a lot, a lot before the exam and the results will come well. Yeah, that's really yeah. important. Like same as us, because I'm studying at, um, in Victoria, and we do have the past exam paper. Just do more yeah. practicing for the past exam paper, because you know all the question answer they kind of like repeating each year. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So important. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and practicing that paper, past paper is really good because you will like get used to the the sort of questions that they're going to ask. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, okay, because our time is nearly there before we mm-hmm. we are gonna end our podcast. Um, I heard from them like you got your own YouTube channel. Isn't oh, it? Yeah. Did you? Oh, so nice. <laughs> so well. Yeah. Would you like introduce your YouTube channel to all of us? <laughs> um, my YouTube channel. Uh, it's just my name. So it's I. Oh, H I E N A N H. That's just mm-hmm. my name, and uh-huh. I put a ribbon emoji <laughs> uh, it's just about me vlogging what I do like just like daily vlogs about what I do is mainly about study and me going shopping and enjoying my life about yeah I do just trying to be productive every day and put that energy into my blog <laughs> yeah yeah that's what the content about I'm sure like some of our audience would like to you know watch your YouTube <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much. And uh, today you are joining us. And it was so lovely getting to know you and, you know, learning about your experiences in high school. And yeah, we hopefully like this information can help some of other students in the future. And yeah, we think your studying tips will be definitely coming to good use. And also stay tuned. Um, with us for more podcasts in the future and make sure you check out our Facebook and Instagram for more upcoming news and events and we are the National uh, Wellington National Ambassador thank you bye thank you bye